And now, the powerful conclusion of the yellow wallpaper. Here we go. They were talking about the, uh, the ladies creeping around by daylight and how uh, humiliating, humiliating it must be. <laughs> I don't blame her a bit. It must be very humiliating to be caught creeping by daylight. I always lock the door when I creep by daylight. I can't do it at night, for I know John would suspect something at once. And John is so queer now that I don't want to irritate him. I wish she would take another room. Besides, I don't want anybody to get that woman out at night but myself. I often wonder if I could see her out of all the windows at once. But turn as fast as I can. I can only see out of one window at a time. And though I always see her, she may be able to creep faster than I can turn. I have watched her sometimes way off in the open country, creeping as fast as a cloud shadow in the high winds. If only that top pattern could be gotten off from the under one. I mean to try it little by little. I have found out another funny thing. But I shan't tell it at this time. It does not do good to trust people too much. There are only two more days to get this paper off, and I believe John is beginning to notice. I don't like the look in his eyes. And I heard him ask Jenny a lot of professional questions about me. She had a very good report to give. She said that I slept a good deal during the daytime. John knows I don't sleep very well at night. For all, I'm so quiet. He asked me a lot of sorts of questions too and pretended to be very loving and kind as if I couldn't see through him. Still, I don't wonder he acts so sleeping under this paper for three months. It only interests me, but I feel sure John and Jenny are secretly affected by it. Hooray, this is the last day. But is it enough? John is to stay town overnight and won't be out until this evening. Jenny wanted to sleep with me, a sly thing, but I told her I should undoubtedly rest better for the night alone. That was clever, for really I wasn't alone a bit. As soon as it was moonlight and that poor thing began to crawl and shake the pattern, I got up and ran to help her. I pulled and she shook. I shook and she pulled. And before morning we had peeled off yards of that paper. A strip about as high as my head and halfway around the room. And then when the sun came and that awful pattern began to laugh at me, I declared I would finish it today. We go away tomorrow and they are moving all my furniture down again to leave things as they were before. Jenny looked at the wall in amazement. But I told her merely that I did it out of pure spite at the vicious thing. She laughed and said she wouldn't mind doing it herself. But I must not get tired. How she betrayed herself this time. But I am here and no person touches this paper but me. Not alive. 
She tried to get me out of the room. It was too patent. But I said it was so quiet and empty and clean now that I believed I would lie down again and sleep all I could. And not to wake me, even for dinner. I would call when I woke. So now she is gone, and the servants are gone, and the things are gone, and there is nothing left but that great bedstead nailed down with the canvas mattress we found on it. We shall sleep downstairs tonight and take the boat home tomorrow. I quite enjoy the room. Now it is better. How those children did tear about here. This bedstead is fairly gnawed. But I must get to work. I have locked the door and thrown the key down into the front path. I don't want to go out. And I don't want to have anybody come in. Till John comes. I want to astonish him. I've got a rope up here that even Jenny did not find. If that woman does get out and tries to get away, I can tie her. But I forget, I could not reach far without anything to stand on. This bed will not move. I tried to lift and push it until I was laid. And then I got so angry I bit off a little piece at one corner. But it hurt my teeth. Then I peeled off all the paper I could reach standing on the floor. It sticks horribly, and the pattern just enjoys it. All those strangled heads and bulbous eyes are waddling fungus. Gross. Just shriek with derision. I am getting angry enough to do something desperate. To jump out the window would be an admirable exercise. But the bars were too strong even to try. Besides, I wouldn't do it. Of course not. I know well enough that a step like that is improper. And might be misconstrued. I don't like to look out of the windows. Even there are so many of those creeping women, and they creep so fast. I wonder if they all come in out of the wallpaper as I did. Ooh. But I am securely fastened now by my well-hidden rope. You don't get me out in the road there. I suppose I shall have to get back behind the pattern when it comes night, and that is hard. It is so pleasant to be out in this great room and creep around as I please. I don't want to go outside. I won't, even if Jenny asked me to. For outside, you have to creep on the ground, and everything is green instead of yellow. But here I can creep smoothly on the floor, and my shoulder just fits in that long smooch around the wall so I cannot lose my way. Shh! Why, there's John at the door. It is no use, young man. You can't open it. How he does call and pound. Now he's crying for an axe. It would be a shame to break down that beautiful door. John, dear, said I in the gentlest of voice, the key is down by the front steps, under the plaited leaf. That silenced him for a few moments. Then he said, very quietly indeed, Open the door, my darling. I can't, said I. The key is down by the front door under a plantain leaf. And then I said it again several times 
very gently and slowly and said it is so and said it so often that he had to go and see and he got it of course and came in he stopped short by the door what is the matter he cried for God's sake what are you doing I kept on creeping just the same but I looked at him over my shoulder I've got out at last said I in spite of you and Jane and I've pulled off most of the paper so you can't put me back now why should that man have fainted but he did and right across my path by the wall so that I had to creep over him every time. The end. Hope you enjoyed it.